Hey guys, welcome to Math 173, your first video. Um, you're going to find some of the videos each week. Some of them I'll make and some of them I will find on YouTube and they're just good videos to go along with the sections. So this week um, you are reviewing functions, different types of functions, and at the end of section 1.4 you're going to find um, a couple of examples on finding the difference quotient. And this is going to come up throughout the semester on all different kinds of um, functions to find this difference quotient. You won't really understand what the difference quotient is until you get into a pre-calc class. For now we're really just algebraically learning how to find it. Okay, so I have this example, um, f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 2. So I just want to kind of, before we start finding it, jot down a couple things that we know about this function. It's in function notation, so we know it would pass the vertical line test. Um, this is a quadratic function, and I can tell that because of the highest power of x, x is to the second power in this one. So we know any quadratic is a shape of a parabola, so when I graphed it, this would either be like this, opening up or opening down. Okay, that's kind of on a diagonal, but those would be straight opening straight up or opening straight down. Okay, and that's all because I can look at that and see that I have an x squared. Okay, if it were an x to the first, we know it then it's a linear function. All right, so to find the difference quotient, the difference quotient I have up here, I already wrote it out, this thing right here is our difference quotient all the time. And then we use our function to plug in. So I kind of break this up into a couple different parts. So the first thing I really have to find is this f of x plus h. Let's see what that is first. Okay, that's usually what's going to be the most time consuming. So that means I'm going to take this expression right here, and I'm going to plug it in for x there and for x there. So it's going to end up looking like this. So instead of x squared, I'm going to write x plus h quantity squared plus 3 times x plus h minus 2. And then I'm just going to work on that. I know I have other parts of this difference quotient, but let's just figure out what all this is first. So remember this part right here, I have to actually FOIL out. Okay, so when I do that, if I write that out twice and FOIL it, I get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay, then I'll distribute. Okay, so all of that is what I have just from that f of x plus h. So my difference quotient, so let's start working on this. Okay, so my difference quotient is f of x plus h, so I'll fill in what I just found for that. Then I have to take off the original function, all divided by h. So let's see what we have here. What I have in blue is all that at first part, so that's f of x plus h, so let me write all that. It's going to be a challenge to get this all into one row, but let's see. Okay, then let me just move over a little bit here. Okay. Then I have to subtract off the original function. Okay, subtract off the whole original function, which is x squared plus 3x minus 2, all over h. All right, so let's see what we have now. My next step, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to distribute that. Um, so this, is, this minus sign is going to go to all these parts. Okay, so let's see what I really have. I have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 3x plus 3h minus 2 minus x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over h. Okay, I'm going to move to a new slide for some room, but let's just kind of look at... Right now it looks like a big mess. But all the time in this difference quotient, after I get to this step, lots of things start happening. Okay, won't end up to be a big mess when I'm done. So let's see what I can do. Okay, so I see x squared and x squared, x squared minus x squared drops to zero. Then I have my 3x and my minus 3x drops out. I have a minus 2 and a plus 2 drops out. Okay, so I'm just going to take what I have right here. Uh, let me see if I can move up a little bit so I don't actually have to move a new slide so we have room. Okay, let's see if this will work. So let's see what's left. 
All right, so I I'm going to put it in order, highest power of h squared. Okay, these are going to have h's in it because I'm finding I had found f of x plus h. So I have h squared left. Um, I have a plus 2xh. And then I have a plus 3h. It didn't really matter the order of those. All over h. And then if I factor an h out of the top, there's multiple ways I can do this. Or I can just divide an h. h goes into each one of these terms. So h goes into h squared. I can knock off an h there. I divide h into the 2xh and I get plus 2x. And the h into the 3h, I get plus 3. So that is my difference quotient. It definitely came out to be a lot more simplified than it looked a couple steps ahead. So like I said, this has a big meaning. When you start to get into a pre-calc class, you'll understand why you find this difference quotient and what you actually find, what you're really finding about the function. But for right now, we just want to be able to algebraically find each part of that. Okay, so I hope that helps you.